Chapter 17 Thou shalt not sacrifice unto the Lord thy God any bullock or sheep where there is a blemish or any evil, evil favouritism, for it is an abomination to the Lord your God. If there be found among you with any of your gates which the Lord thy God giveth thee, a man or a woman that hath wrought wickedness in the sight of the Lord thy God in transgressing his covenant, and have gone and served other gods and worshipped them, either the sun or the moon or any of the hosts of heaven, which I have not commanded. And it be told thee, and thou hast heard of it, and inquire diligently, behold, it was true. And the thing is certain that such an abomination is wrought in Israel. Then thou shalt bring forth that man or woman which has committed that wicked thing unto thy gates, that that man or woman shall stone them with stones, and they shall die. At the mouth of two witnesses or three witnesses shall he that is worthy of death be put to death, but at the mouth of one witness he shall not be put to death. The hands of the witnesses shall be the first upon him to put him to death, and afterwards the hands of all the people. So thou shalt put the evil out from among you. If there arise a matter too hard for you in judgment between blood and blood, between plea and plea, between stroke and stroke, between matters of controversy within thy gates, then thou shalt arise and get thee up into the place that the Lord thy God will choose. And thou shalt come to the priests, the Levites, and unto a judge shall be in those days and inquire, and they shall show thee the sentence of the judgment. And thou shalt do according to the sentence which they, that place which the Lord will choose, shall show thee and thou shalt observe and do according to that which was informed of thee. According to the sentence of the law which thou teach thee, and according to the judgment with they shall, which thou shalt teach thee, thou shalt do, thou shalt not decline from the sentence which thou shalt show thee to the right hand nor to the left. And the man that will do presumptuously will not hearken to the priest and stand to minister there before the Lord thy God, or unto the judge, even that man shall die, and thou shalt put the evil away from Israel. And all the people shall hear and fear and do no more presumptuously when thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God give thee. And thou shalt possess it and shalt dwell therein and say, I will set a king over me as the nations that are above me. And thou shalt in wise set him a king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose from among thy brethren shall set a king over thee, and thou shalt not set a stranger over thee, which is not a brother. But he shall not magnif multiply horses to himself, nor cause people to return to Egypt, to the end that he should multiply horses, for so much as the Lord hath says to you, he shall henceforth return no more that way. Neither shall he multiply wives to himself that, he hearts, that his heart not turn away, neither shall he multiply himself silver and gold. And it shall be when he sits on the throne of his kingdom that he shall write a copy of this law in the book of that which is before the priests of the Levites. And it shall be with him, and he shall read it there in the days of his life, that he may learn to fear the Lord his God and to keep the words of this law and its statutes, and do them. That his heart not be lifted up above his brothers, and that he not turn aside from the commandments to the right hand or to the left, to the end that he may prolong his days in his kingdom and his children in the midst of Israel.